Alright. Time to track down some smoke. Where is the smoke exactly? It's over there. So do I want to go to the lake or do I want to go down this way? I'm going to try this way. Oop. Come on, Henry. It's always nice when the rope does not snap. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. Oh. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Look, a supply cache. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction anymore. One. Two. Three. Four. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly... I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! You know, Delilah, you are that first one as well. So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. You said Ned didn't get mauled by a grizzly, but it's possible, right? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shred a pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I they am. Or Aspen Those trees. trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I'm there. At the stream. I don't actually see the smoke anymore, though. I thought they were Aspen. If you go back to the very first episode, I was like, are these Aspen? Oh, it's the beer cans. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. But I had wondered if they were Aspen trees. Because when I lived in Colorado, 
I was in an area that is particularly full of aspen trees. Oh, a waterfall. What is that, though? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. There are gonna be like dead bodies in the waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I don't think they're here though. I think I need to go back up to that little trail. But yeah, I thought those were aspen trees. The place I worked, like, prided itself on its aspen grove. It was very strange. I worked at a very strange place though, so... You know, filled with lots of kooky people, myself included. Where are you? Up. Oh. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That yeah, seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Hold on, let me stomp out the fire. Do my duty. What do we got here? I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. I'm amazed that they made it back to my tower before me. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> it's fun. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I can't confiscate it. It's sad. Oh, boy. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've There's got the camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. It's a good thing I didn't uh use all this film. Get a look at this note. Um. Yeah, I guess that's su ooh, I guess that's sufficient. What do you say? Ah. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick heart. Huh. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? The girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I didn't. Their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, oh, well, that was just the end of the day. Oh, 
Oh, my window. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. My poor window. Whoop. Whoop. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Weird. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I'm going to go with Burt well, Reynolds. I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh... You know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my Send god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not okay. shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? I just like, like this one. as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak <laughs> of high society. Good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. My nose has been broken. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Oh, your illustrious go. boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Yeesh. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm Delilah, going, why? I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They tired. Look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Oh, speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. Oh no, my coffee. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. I like who, how, whoever lived here before clearly uh, liked tabletop gaming. I can gather from this weird piece of paper. To rub... Oh, and look, and there's the 20-sided die to go with it. And... Eh. What did I roll? I rolled a 20! Yes! Critical success! No, get back in there. Desk drawer, please. I don't know. Am I ready to work? Are there things I can be doing otherwise? National four something book, glass cleaner. Uh well I guess I'm ready to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <coughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden <laughs> and there's no padding. <laughs> I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Ow! Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh. Well, that was an uninteresting day. Day nine! Wait a minute, what happened to all those other in-between days? I guess nothing happened. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? 
Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Uh oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Well, that's not good. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth mentioning. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me Still idle on the run? Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Is that the end of the day? Yes! Oh, jeez. We're into a weird part of the game. <laughs> Where it's like, weeks later! Interesting. So a really eventful, like, first couple of days. Henry, wake up. Ugh. Hold on. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. You alright, Delilah? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh. Oh. Hi, Jules. Oh. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Julia? Are you having a nice time? Oh, this is weird. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Oh. Are we. We're like dream hallucinating? I don't. You alright, Henry? Y'all. Y'all right? Hike north to retrieve supplies. To bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> okay, so I'm going the correct way. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. Yeah, I kind of no, did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I kind of did. Up. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, for some reason, I didn't come home. 
Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, I suppose. I'm glad to report that is not the reason I went out into the middle of the mountains for a whole summer. It's <laughs> a weird sentence. Alright. Time to go get supply dropped. So, like, are we just gonna not talk about those two girls that went missing? It's been, like, a month at this point. Are we just assuming they're okay? Do we not know? Okay. I guess I just can't be like, so, any update on those those two girls who I will totally probably get pinned for the murder of if they're found dead? No? Is that a stump or a shadowy figure? Is that a stump or a shadowy... What is that? Oh, that's just a fence. For a second I thought that was a dog. And I got really concerned. I thought like a Rottweiler was waiting for me in the the fields of grass. That was a, my heart's actually going a little fast. That did startle me. Hello, supply case. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Is it gonna be empty? I'll be good and just take mine. I could totally steal their stuff, though. That was it? Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64! Man, these time jumps are insane. <laughs> 